Hello everyone, my name is Michelle. This is my monthly tarot card reading for Virgo for the month of August. We are going to talk about the situation, challenge, guidance, focus, and then outcome for the month. If you haven't had the chance to check out July's reading, you can visit my channel, scroll through my videos to find last month's reading for July. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that reading if you felt that it applied. So let's go ahead and get into this reading for August. For your situation, I pull the three of wands reverse. And what this is telling me is that this month you could be really feeling overwhelmed with certain goals or plans that you had that maybe you feel aren't accomplished or are not at the point where you want them to be. You could be feeling like you're having a lot of setbacks, something getting in your way of completing them, and you're worried that maybe you got in over your head or that you've taken on too much. Um, overall, just a, a sense of overwhelming feelings this month. For your challenge, I pulled the Queen of Cups reverse, and this tells me that your challenge is going to be in the area of your emotions this month. You could be feeling out of touch with your emotions, or maybe that you're forced to keep your emotions bottled up. You could have a hard time expressing yourself emotionally. This could be in a relationship. This could be at work. Um, for your challenge, or I'm sorry, the guidance, I pulled the Seven of Swords. And this card is a card of deception, of procrastination. It's taking the easy way out. And so this could have two alternate meanings. The first could be that maybe you are considering taking a shortcut or maybe using a little bit of deception to achieve your goal or get what you want out of a situation. And sometimes we may have to cut corners or maybe use a little bit of deception to, to get what we want. And it's not always the best case to do that, but just be sure that if you are going to, I guess, to try to take the easy way out, Make sure you're doing so with a clear conscience that you know that it's the best decision for you to make because in the long run, deception is not going to produce the rewards that you desire and that you could cause damage to certain relationships or your reputation if you happen to be found out about it. So just be sure that if you're deciding to do that, that you're 100% sure that that's the best thing to do. On the flip side, this could be a warning of potentially someone or multiple people this month that could be trying to use deception or cheating or um, maybe they're trying to cut corners and they want to use you for their own benefit. This is someone who has their own agenda, their own reason for doing things and you need to look for any type of sneaky behavior in people and trust your gut. If you get a bad feeling about somebody this month, you should definitely trust that. Don't let anybody use you for their own gain. For your focus, we pull the King of Cups, which is funny because we had the Queen of Cups in this reading as well. And again, this is going back to focus on your emotional control. The King of Cups is someone who balances his emotion and, and his intellect very well. Um, he has a good handle on both of those aspects. And so this is telling you to focus on that emotional balance. You can do that by meditating, do some deep breathing. I read a book recently called Emotional Intelligence. It's a very good read. It's a quick and easy read. If you're looking for some new material to read that uh, might help you with some of that personal growth emotionally. I recommend that book. Um, for your outcome for the month, we pulled the two of wands, which is funny, again, because we pulled the three of wands, reverse for your situation, two of wands in the upright position for your outcome. And what this tells me is that by the end of the month, you should be feeling pretty confident, again, about 
where, where, what your goals are, where they lie, where you're at with them. This is turning your ideas into concrete plans mm -hmm. that are going to lead you to success. So uh, this means that you should be focused on your long-term goals, your aspirations. You will be feeling pretty good about your plans then. So overall, it's a um, interesting month for you guys. There's definitely a lot of emotional energy going on in every sign this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Please feel free to comment, like, and share. You can also subscribe to my channel for future videos. Um, again, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back next month for the reading for September. And I'll catch you guys later.